For this problem, we need to find uh, the general real valued solution for this system. Uh, and then we also need to find uh, the particular solution that solves uh, these initial constraints when x naught equals uh, 3 minus 1. And we're also told that this matrix right here has uh, complex eigenvalues. Um, so that's going to make things even more interesting for us. Um, so let's start. Uh, we know when we find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors, we get a general solution that looks something like this, where xt, uh, c1, e, lambda 1, t, v1, uh, and so on. Um, so we're going to first find eigenvalues and eigenvectors and try to get something like that. So um, to find the eigenvalues, we take the determinant of uh, this matrix minus lambda i. And that is equal to 1 minus lambda minus 1 minus lambda uh, plus 5. That's equal to minus 1 uh, plus lambda minus lambda plus lambda squared plus 5 equals lambda squared. Uh, those cancel and 5 minus 1 is 4, so plus 4. Okay, uh, lambda squared plus 4, if we set that equal to 0, that gives us um, our lambdas equal plus or minus 2i. Okay? Um, so I'm going to choose one of these to put back into this equation to find an, eigen, uh, an eigenvector. And I'm actually going to choose uh, minus 2i because I think that'll give us a nicer, a nicer answer. Uh, so I'm solving for uh, eigenvector 1. Uh, so if I put minus 2i in as lambda, I get 1 plus 2i, minus 5, 1, minus 1, plus 2i. Okay, uh, I'm going to multiply the top row by 1 minus 2i. That's the complex conjugate of this, and that'll make this number real valued. Um, so I get 1 squared minus 4i squared, that's 1 plus 4, so 5. And minus 5 times 1 minus 2i. 1 minus 1 plus 2i. OK, um, I can divide both sides by 5. I mean, the top row by 5. And then I'll just have the same number on the top and the bottom. 1 uh, minus 1 plus 2i. And the same thing on the bottom, so just 0. OK, so from here I can find my v1. Uh, and that's equal to, OK, so I want the product of this times my v1 to equal 0. Um, so my 1 I'm going to multiply by uh, 1 minus 2i and 1, because 1 times 1 minus 2i plus minus 1 plus 2i, that's going to give me 0. Uh, and that's the goal. So my vector 1 is this right here. OK, that gives me uh, one complex valued solution. I'm going to call it w, or wt uh, okay, equals e to the minus 2i t times the vector 1 minus 2i over 1. Let's just double check that. Cool. OK, because complex uh, eigenvalues are a special case, we have a way of dealing with this and getting rid of those i's um, that are so nasty uh, and making it into a real valued solution. Uh, and what we do is we start with this. Uh, and then we're going to use Euler's formula. Um, so I'm going to take this on the other board. We have, I'm just rewriting what we had already, wt equals e to the minus 2it times the vector uh, 1 minus 2i and 1. And if you remember Euler's formula, that is 
e to the i x equals, I should know this, um, cosine of x plus, yes, plus i sine of x. Okay, um, I'm going to substitute that in. We have here uh, my x is minus 2t, so that'll be uh, cosine of minus 2t plus i sine of minus 2t all times that same vector. Okay, um, cool. We know about cosine if you have a negative, that just goes away. And for sine, if we have a negative, we can take that and put it outside. Okay, so cosine 2t minus i sine of 2t. Now I'm going to um, distribute this part. So. This is just going to become one big two by one matrix. And I'm going to have one minus two i uh, cosine of two t minus i times one minus two i sine of two t. And on the bottom is the same thing multiplied by one uh, cosine of two t minus i sine of 2t. I need to move this. Okay, um, I'm going to do a couple steps which are just algebra simplifying this down. If you want, you can skip forward a couple seconds um, if you're feeling really confident about algebra. Uh, otherwise, you can just stay and watch. Um, so this i, I'm going to distribute this right now. Um, i times 1 is 1, uh, 1i. And i times minus 2i is just going to make it plus 2. That's right. Um, so now we have, uh, if I'm multiplying out, cosine of 2t minus 2i cosine of 2t minus i sine of 2t minus 2 sine of 2t. And cosine of 2t minus i sine of 2t. All right, now I want to separate uh, my real values from my imaginary values. So I'm going to have two parts to this. I'm going to have cosine of 2t Skip that one, skip that one, and negative 2 sine of 2t. Plus, uh, this one that I skipped, minus 2i cosine of 2t. And minus i sine of 2t. And on my bottom, is cosine 2t and i sine of 2t. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull an i out from this side. So plus i uh, and now here for reasons that are described a lot better in the book than I can right here, we have uh, to um, what is it called? a general solution uh, for our x of t. If we just make this into x1 and this into x2, and we put constants c1 and c2 in front of them. So our, our general solution is going to look like this.
Um, so this is our general solution. Just make sure everything looks right. Cool. Uh, no, everything doesn't. I have a minus right here, there, and there. You see that? Okay. I just missed that. I put that in right now. Cool. So that's my general solution. Um, that's part one of the problem that we had to do. Um, we need to find the general solution, and then we also needed to solve for initial values. So that's going to be the last step. Um, I'm going to move back over here. Uh, okay, so my x naught was 3 and minus 1. Let's see, do I have room over there? I think I'm going to have room. I'm going to do it on this board. I'll just transfer that over. So my x naught was 3 and minus 1. And I'll use this to figure out my C1 and C2. So, um, oops. Sorry. Uh, substituting 0 in for t, this is going to shorten these a lot. Um, that's going to equal C1, okay, cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0. Yep, so that's just 1, 1, uh, plus C2. Cosine of 0 is 1, so that's minus 2 and 0. All right, so I've got this system. Now I just need to find uh, C1 and C2. And I can do that with a matrix. I have 1, 1, minus 2, 0, 3, minus 1. Okay, I'm going to go uh, row, row 1 minus row 2, right? I need to write it down here. 1 minus 1 is 0. Mm, minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2. 3 minus minus 1 is 4. And 1, 0, minus 1. Just do a little bit of rearranging. I need to switch these rows, and this gets multiplied by uh, minus 1 half. So this top row, I'm going to switch to the bottom, and it becomes 1, um, 0, 1, minus 2. And I'm switching this one. That stays as 1, 0, minus 1. Cool. So C1 is minus 1, and C2 is minus 2. I'll write a note of that. There we go. So um, I'll just plug this into this equation, and then we'll be done. And that'll be my final solution. OK. So that's minus uh, all this junk. Minus 2, all that junk again. Cool. Uh, so that's our general solution. That's our particular solution with these initial coordinates. And we're all done.